Hey all, welcome to another video from Reckonow.com. This video has taken a bit to pull together, but I wanted to walk you through how I built a boomless sprayer for managing my hidey hole food plots. The majority of the parts that you're going to need to build this can be found at your local hardware store, but you'll start by attaching two couplings to an 18 inch riser that you would find in the sprinkler section of the hardware store. This is going to be what we use to replace the traditional boom. You're going to want to use this Teflon type tape on every connection and that's going to ensure it's waterproof at all the connection points because it's going to be under pressure. And I believe these are half inch threads. You can find all the parts in the uh, attached blog post. So with the couplings attached, you're going to insert a one half inch male threaded barb brass piece. The barb is actually three eighths inch but the threads are for one half inch pipe. And you'll use Teflon tape because you want to get that tight fit. And what I'll do, uh, once I get the Teflon tape put on, you, you want to thread it on there in the direction that you're screwing it in so it doesn't back off as you're screwing. And then you'll take some channel locks. And I take two sets, I have two different sizes, and just get it nice and tight. So with a barb on this end, on the other side, you'll screw in a half inch male threaded bushing. And inside the bushing, there is quarter inch threads. And this will be used for attaching the sprayer. So again, Teflon tape. And you'll screw this on tight. So the secret to ditching the boom is this spray nozzle. I link to in the blog where to get these, but you'll take off the plastic piece, or at least the white plastic piece, and you have quarter inch male threads, and this will thread right into the bushing. So once that Teflon tape's on there, this is really all there is to making the boom. The rest of the video is gonna focus on how to attach it to a sprayer. So that looks good. So to attach the boom, you're going to need to drill a quarter inch hole in the center of a half inch PVC plug. And then I insert a one inch bolt that I can then attach a Yak Attack screwball to. And this is how I choose to mount it. There's other ways to mount it, but I think this is the easiest way. So to get the Yak Attack screwball attached to the riser, you're going to use one of these saddle tees. And it will fit right onto the pipe. And there's actually threads in the saddle tee. So once you get it tight, I usually put it towards the back third. You can thread in that screwball that we made. And now we have a riser with a screwball attached and ready to be attached to another connection point. So to get your sprayer set up, I got this sprayer at Northern Tool, and you need a three-way valve. I'm zip-tying this valve to the sprayer. I actually end up loosening it just because it was a little tough to get the PVC tube. And this is the PVC tube. So I actually bought some of this. It, the sprayer comes with a wand, but I cut about a two-foot section, and I'm going to attach it to the pump. And this is 3 8 inch PVC tube. So once that's attached to the pump, you're going to put the other end into the intake side of the three-way valve. And this will be the supply line for both the wand and for the boomless sprayer. So about two foot. So the sprayer will actually come... Well, before I talk about the wand, to get this on, if you have some trouble... You can un unhook it, and I used a little bit of Vaseline or some white grease just to get that 3 8 inch PVC tube on the valve. It's a little snug. Okay, so once I get that attached, what I'm doing, doing here is I'm attaching the wand. This is a included supply line for the wand that came with the sprayer. So you'll put that on one of the intake sides. And then on the other side, I take about a four foot section of the PVC tube 
and I attach it to the other. I think I said the input side, but this is actually the output side of the line. And then you can take the other end of that four foot section and we already have a barb on our boomless sprayer. So you just connect that. So now you have a three-way valve that allows you to direct liquid from the pump to either the wand or the boomless sprayer. And again, once I get done, I'm attaching this back. You can try to attach them. I was just struggling a little bit to get the PVC tube on. So the next step is just creating a connection point for that Yak Attack screwball. I use my golf cart for spraying my fields because they're not that big. You can use a tractor, but all I did was get another quarter inch screw and another screwball. And then you get this connection point for the one inch screwball. And this allows me to adjust it up and down. And you can see then I just attach my boomless sprayer. And that's all it takes. You can get a 12 volt battery and you can see right here, I get about 12 foot of spray. I use this to build all my food plots, or at least to kill off my food plots this year after I had seeded, and it worked great. I hope that helps y'all. Thanks.